Okay, welcome back. Uh, Anuj is now uh, joining in with a quick look at how, uh, I mean, he's seeing the market uh, trade set up as we start a fresh week. Anuj, hi, morning. Morning, uh, Prashant. Uh, you know, it's a big week uh, because uh, for me, it's important to see if the Nifty is breaking that range. It's been stuck in this range. Uh, the lower end has been defended two or three times now. Now we'll, we'll see if upper end gets tested. Some important banking numbers this week as well on the mid-cap side. Uh, uh, the other important uh, issue is what's happening in the a setup of uh, individual indices. Uh, if you look at NASDAQ, that's now moved about 20, 50 and 100 day moving average and within 5% of 200 day moving average. Why is that important? Because even the Indian Nifty IT has quietly moved 10% from its recent lows and is now just 1.5% away from the 200 day moving average. So getting into the business zone of testing whether this is just a bear market rally or start of something big in IT. IT plus metals as a theme is working. And the dollar index has gone to 101.6, so that's also a bit positive uh, for the market. The only issue is uh, with the Nifty that over the next few days, you have a cluster of moving averages uh, which are placed. Uh, I'll just go through the, those. The 10-day exponential moving average, 17,980. 20-day moving average, just 100 points above that, 18,090. And 50-day exponential moving average, 18,115. Until the time this 20-day moving average is declining, uh, the market's overall texture still remains sell on rally. On the bank nifty, you need to see, of course, how HDFC Bank opens, and then you take it from there. But here as well, you have some very important moving averages placed. Uh, the 10-day exponential moving average is at 42,426, and the 20-day at uh, 42,653. So my sense is that you will see big resistance in this zone. Okay. All right, Anuj. Thanks so much for joining and giving us a quick market.